Now we'll talk about how to make a baseball pass. A baseball pass is used primarily for making a long distance pass on the basketball court. A lot of times it's used going from one end of the court to another where you might have the basketball and you look down the court and you see a teammate open and you want to throw the ball over the top of the defender's head so now your teammate can get the ball and make a play on the opposite end of the court. It's the exact same motion as if a baseball player had a ball in their hand and they're taking the ball and throwing over the top. So now right now, George and I will demonstrate how to make a baseball pass. So George will go to the baseline, I'll come up to the top of the key. So the first thing I want to do, like with all of our passes, we want to step into the pass. All right, so now as I step in, it's over my head and I follow through and it's accurate. George will do the same thing coming back to me. He's stepping and throwing, very good follow through. And you notice that there's accuracy in these passes. Sometimes with the baseball pass, you can also use it to lob, but you don't want to lob it so much that the defense can steal the ball. So now if George was a further distance away from me and I'm really throwing the ball down the court, it can also look more like that where I'm lobbing it, same baseball motion, and I'm hitting him accurate. And then George would do the same thing to me. Notice a little bit more lob to the pass, or it can be a straight accurate pass. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is to remember accuracy, stepping forward, and it's the baseball motion as we go over the top of our head, and that's how you make a baseball pass.